good morning students now let us study the third natural resource soil now the first question is what is meant by soil and how is soil formed now soil is nothing but the small particles of the rock and it is formed by the weathering of the rocks weathering of the rocks means the breaking of the rocks into small particles forms a soil now this you have learned in lower classes how the soil is formed now what are the ingredients of the soil soil is the mixture of stones dead remains of plants and animals microorganisms and other particles now next we will see the properties of the soil now color it is an important property of the soil now the soil gets its color as a result of the several processes the color of the soil near land surface is darker than the color of the lower layers soil may be of different colors such as black red copper yellow and gray the colors of the soil are useful for its classification besides they are indirectly useful in indicating several properties of the land in this way the properties of the soil such as its fertility drainage of the water capacity to hold water becomes clear from its color now the color of the soil it depends on its texture and the organic ingredients as well as on the chemical ingredients like iron and lime now here this with the help of this activity or the, with the help of this experiment we will see the water hol holding capacity how it is different for the different types of the soil now take three measuring cylinders three glass funnels filter paper water fine sand coarse sand soil from an earthen pot used for growing plants etc now fit cones of the filter paper in three glass funnels fill the cones with equal quantities of uh, sand sandy soil and clay respectively in the three funnels now place the funnels on the measuring cylinders as shown in the figure pour one test tube of water into each of the funnels and observe how much water is collected in in each measuring cylinder so what we observe that the level of the water it is collected in the measuring cylinder it is more in the first cylinder where the sand is put into the separating into this funnel where the level of the water here it is less as compared to the first cylinder and here the level of the water collected it is the least so what so what inference do we draw from this now the same one test tube of water it was put into all the three funnels so where this water has gone so from this we can infer that the water sips easily through the sand its water holding capacity is less so most of the water falls back into the measuring cylinder now the water holding capacity of the sandy soil it is more than that of sand so it absorbs or it holds some of the water and the remaining water goes into the measuring cylinder now the water holding capacity in the uh, in of the clay it is greatest it holds most of the water from the test tube and so the water collected in the measuring cylinder it is least so from this we can say that the water holding capacity of the clay is more than sandy soil and sand now next we will see the next property of the soil that is the texture now soil contains particles of different sizes the texture of the soil is determined by the proportion of the particles of the various sizes in it following are the types of the soil on the basis of the texture now the three types of the soil are the, the, the different types of the soil are the first we will see about the sandy soil now the proportion of the sand that is now so this is how the sandy soil looks 
Now the proportion of the sand that is a large particles is high in a sandy soil. Water drains rapidly through the sandy soil. It is easy to flow through this soil but it is less fertile. This is because the particles of the sandy soil are made up of mineral called silicon dioxide. So these particles do not dissolve in water and therefore the soil has very little capacity to supply nutrients. Now the next soil is the silt soil. Now the particles of the silt soil are of medium size. The silt soil is not flowable as sandy soil. However, it is much more flowable than clay soil. So this soil contains a large proportion of organic materials. Its capacity to supply nutrients is much greater. So this silt soil, it is also called as the sedimentary soil. And this silt soil, it is more fertile. So the silt soil where it is found in geography, you must have learned along the banks of the river. So this silt, so the, so the soil along the banks of the river, it is more fertile and there you can grow the crops more. Now the last one is the clay soil. In this the soil, the proportion of the small particles is maximum. Particles of the clay soil feel smooth to touch. It has more water holding capacity. But so, so but then this clay soil, it cannot be used for ag in agriculture. Because the water holding capacity is also if it is very, uh, very large, then also that is not good for the roots of the plant. They rot easily. So, the next question is here, this one, why is it difficult to flow the clay soil? Now, particles of the clay soil, they are small. So, its water holding capacity is more and so it is difficult to flow. Now, why it is easy to flow the sandy soil? The particles are bigger in size and so it is easy to flow. Now, what is the water holding capacity of silt soil? Water holding capacity of the silt soil is more than the sandy soil and less than the clay soil. Now, which soil is suitable for cultivation and why? Silt soil is suitable for the cultivation because it is a fertile soil. Understood now? Now, the next property of the soil we will see. So, so far we have seen two properties of the soil. Soil color, next was soil texture and now third we will see the soil structure. Now, the structure of the soil, it depends upon the different shapes of the particles in it. Now, soil occurs in the form of columnar, laminar, granular as well as block shaped structure. Now, the fertility of the soil structure, it depends upon the soil structure. The advantages of the good soil structure are as follows. Roots get a sufficient supply of oxygen. So, you can see here, this one, these are the different stru structures of the soil. Here, this one, columnar, particles granular as well as the blocks. This is the block shape structure. This is the columnar structure of the soil. Then this is the granular structure of the soil and this is the laminar structure of the soil. So, these are the different structures in which the soil can exist. So, now next we have to see the use, uses of the soil. Now, the soil it is used for plant conservation. It is used to help plants grow. Second one for water conservation, soil holds water as a result by means of buns and lakes we can get water for use throughout the year. Then third use is water for plasticity, soil can be given any required shape. This property of the soil is called as plasticity. So you can see this one we can make soil, part, uh, uh, this one articles such as bricks, then pots, uh, the earthenware pots, then uh, this one crockery, these are all the things which are made out of soil. Now, these articles can be baked to make them hard. The water storage earthen pots, that is matka, then earthen lamps, diya, which we use during Diwali, then idols, Ganpati idols, then the Durga Devi idols, and other idols, then bricks, they are all the articles made from the soil. Now, some useful types of soils are there. This one China clay, shadu soil, terracotta soil and multani soil. Now first China clay soil you know it is white in color. It is used to make crockery, bathroom tiles, tanks, laboratory apparatuses, masks, jars etc. Then shadu soil it is whitish in color. It is used for making statues and idols. 
then terracotta soil this soil is red in color decorative articles and post used for growing plants are made from this soil and multani soil it is used for making cosmetic now next is your china clay it is the industrial mineral of the type kaolinite it is found in china and hence called as the china clay upon heating this soil acquires the glaze and hardness and therefore it is used for making crockery now this next we will see what the what the why this soil testing is done now proportion of the various ingredients of the soil can be determined by soil testing so during soil testing the soil is examined for color texture and the proportion of the organic matter in it so soil is tested to find out if there is a deficiency of any ingredient and decide what measure should be taken to remove the deficiency so this becomes useful during for the agriculture now soil sample collected for testing is dried in an open space in the shade for 8 to 10 days it is then sifted through the sieves now two test test namely ph and the electrical conductivity test they are particularly useful in finding out the characteristics of the soil so now how this is done here see this here in this case here in this box you see now who has done this the danish scientist sorensen put forth the concept of ph based on the concentration of hydrogen ions to determine the ph of the soil the mixture of water and soil in the proportion 1 is to 10 2 is taken and tested using several indicators accordingly soil may be found to have one of the following three types acidic soil if the ph is less than 6.5 neutral soil if ph is 6.5 to 7.5 and alkaline soil if the ph value it is higher than 7.5 now what are the causes of the diminished soil fertility now if the soil ph is less than 6 or higher than 8 if the low proportion of the organic matter is present no proper drainage of the water is there repeated cultivation of the same crop continuous use of the saline water excessive use of the chemical fertilizers and pesticides so these are the six causes which decreases the fertility of the soil then soil texture it is disturbed if the chemical fertilizers they are used excessively and that land becomes unsuitable for sowing crop should be rotated in order to maintain the fertility of the soil for example the fertility of the land decreases after a harvesting of wheat hence leguminous crops such as peanut moong mod bean pea lentil bengal gram soya bean should be cultivated to restore the fertility of the soil 